Officials report that Republican New Jersey Councilwoman Eunice Dwumfer was shot and killed outside her Sayreville condominium on Wednesday night. Her companion said that only a person with no heart could have done it. Nelia Rodriguez, a friend and a pastor, asserted that she thought Dwumfer had been the subject of a deliberate and personal attack. We believe it was very personal because she was shot seven times in the face and another seven shots were hitting everywhere, else, Rodriguez said on the Ingram angle. So for somebody to get so close to somebody and shoot them so many times, it has to be personal. The investigation into Dwumfer's death is still ongoing, according to the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office. Authorities have not disclosed a suspect's identity or a motivation. The 30-year-old mother was serving a three-year term in office and was involved in her neighborhood and religion, according to the Sayreville Borough Council. Laura Ingram, the host, questioned why someone would do such a thing. There's probably not an answer, Rodriguez said. Why would somebody do that? Somebody who has no heart, somebody who has no love for community, somebody who could have been jealous. It could have been many reasons why somebody would hurt somebody like her, who was such a beautiful soul, who loved everybody, who always smiled. She never said no. She would take her jacket off to give it to you. Her soul was so beautiful. She was such a light to everybody in the community. That is horrifying to even think of anybody trying to hurt her. The pastor asserted that she doesn't think police are following any other leads save the one that says they are looking for a man who was standing close to her car before he fled into the woods. Glenn Skarzynski, the borough of Sayreville's business administrator, told Fox News earlier on Thursday that Dwumper served as the Public Safety Committee's chair and collaborated extensively with police to lower crime. Skarzynski said he doesn't think that relationship played a role in her murder. I can't think of anything that she could have done or said that would have made her a target of such a heinous act. Nothing that would lead us to believe it had any role in the public safety community had nothing to do with this horrifying incident, he said.